Ruse, along with the rest of the northern host, arrives at Harrenhal, finding the ruined castle abandoned and the captive slain, save for a man in maester robes named Kyburn. While Rob and Talisa attend to the man's injuries, Ruse discusses Jamie Lannister's escape with Rickard Karstark, and assures him that the dead will be avenged in time. Messenger ravens come to Harrenhal bearing news of Hoster Tully's death and of Winterfell's destruction. Ruse delivers the messages to Rob, who charges Bolton with holding Harrenhal with a portion of the Northern Army, while he and the bulk of his forces ride for Riverrun. Ruse's minion, Locke, successfully recaptures Jaime Lannister, and delivers him to his lord at Harrenhal. Ruse is visibly angered at Jaime's mutilated state. Jaime asks Ruse about Cersei. In a moment of callousness, Ruse explains the details of the Battle of the Blackwater, in which Stannis Baratheon attacked King's Landing, and appears on the verge of telling Jaime that Cersei is dead, only to tell him that Tywin Lannister arrived at the last minute and fought Stannis off. Jaime's relief sends him to his knees, visibly amusing Ruse. Ruse negotiates with Jaime and Brienne of Tarth over dinner. Bolton weighs up his options, bluntly informing his captives that the safest course of action would simply be to murder both of them, and discreetly dispose of their bodies. Although Jamie attempts to sway Ruse by reminding him of the consequences of crossing his father, Ruse is unperturbed at the prospect of having Lord Tywin as an enemy, as the war is keeping him fully occupied. Ultimately Ruse relents, agreeing to release Jamie, and return him safely to King's Landing on the condition that he inform his father that Bolton had no part in the loss of Jaime's hand. He also retains Brienne as a hostage, stating his intention to charge her with treason. Before Jaime departs for King's Landing, Ruse asks Jaime to give his regards to Jaime's father Tywin. Jaime then asks Ruse to tell Rob Stark that the Lannisters send their regards. Afterwards, Ruse arrives at the twins to attend the wedding of Edmer Tully and Rosalind Frey. However, he has been secretly plotting with House Frey to ultimately bring about the downfall of the Starks. During the wedding, Ruse stays seated beside Lady Caitlin, and just prior to the massacre he directs her gaze to his arm, coaxing her to pull back his sleeve to reveal chain mail underneath. Upon her discovery, he flashes her a sinister grin, revealing that the Starks have been betrayed causing her to slap him across the face and yell at Rob to run. Bolton runs to safety as the Freys turn on the Starks. In the aftermath, he approaches Rob and stabs him in the heart. His final words to Rob are, the Lannisters send their regards. After killing Rob, Ruse climbs to the top of the twins and watches the massacre of the Stark forces. The next day, he and Walder Frey gloat over the deaths of the Starks and the capture of Edmure Tully though Ruse is wary about the escape of Brynden Tully, concerned that he will reach the safety of Riverrun before he can be found. Walder comments that it must have been difficult following Rob Stark, and Ruse notes that Rob never once listened to his advice. Walder jokingly raises a toast to the young wolf, and Ruse says that he will now be forever young. Ruse then explains to Walder what really happened at the sack of Winterfell. It was actually Ruse's bastard son Ramsay Snow, leading a force of Bolton soldiers, who burned Winterfell to the ground. Ruse falsely reported to Rob that Theon and the Ironborn were responsible to deflect suspicion from the Boltons, while Ramsay captured Theon and has been sadistically torturing him in the Dreadfort's dungeon. Ruse decided to betray Rob long ago, after the Lannisters defeated Stannis Baratheon at the Battle of the Blackwater, and was simply feigning loyalty this entire time, even as he was plotting the Starks' destruction.